SPS, the fair for the automation industry where the world meets to discuss new solutions, products, and services. We are broadcasting here live. We are live stream, and we are happy that you're joining us. So thanks ahead for this great day at the fair with us at Fair Booth in Hall 11, the Frankenhalle, under the motto Digital Entertrap. Digital Enterprise, Thinking Industry Further, we are showing you the digital portfolio of Siemens, showing solutions, services, and new products. We are one of 1,650 exhibitors, and we are showing our portfolio on 4,000 square meters, which is the largest fair booth at this fair in Nuremberg. 65,000 visitors are expected, and you can imagine that probably half of them for sure will come to Hall 11, the Frankenhalle. As you can see, the fair is not even open for one hour today at this second day, and it's already full. So our staff here is prepared for really interesting discussions, new insights, questions of our customers at this electrical fair for automation. We do show highlights of future technologies for sure, 5G, artificial intelligence is an important topic. Efficiency is important, not just in production, but also that you are using um, the resources in a good way, that you're not wasting um, all the input and raw materials that you produce to what you need, which is possible by using a digital twin. But now, let's have a look to our specialists here at the various different positions, and let's have a look first at the edge topic. So join me, come down to our first colleague, Philip Armbruster, whom I'm going to interview here at the station. So let's see where I find Philip at his position. And as you can see, the booth is full. It's really full. Um, and of course, there are 65,000 visitors expected. Half of them come here, as we said. And It's quite tough already now to find everybody who is in charge of what to do. So I will start with Felix Kranert with the TIA portal, uh, with FinCC Unified first. Hi, Felix. Good morning. Yeah, let's start with you until Philip is there. He's in discussion with customers. I can see it right now. Um, so let's start with your position here. And Felix, what is your position within Siemens and what's so special about the exhibit you're showing us here? Uh, yeah, I'm the marketing manager for our new visualization system, Semantic Wins is a Unified. And it's the first time here at the SPS Fair where we show it to everyone. And yeah, completely new development based on latest web technologies as well as a next generation of operator panels. And that brings us back again also to the edge topics because the Unified Comfort Panels are also an edge device. and give you the possibility to extend the standard functionality of the devices um, by apps. And with that, you can realize nearly every application, right? You're having some presentations today on stage, also talking about VinCC Unified. So what's, what's so different to what we had before? What's so special, Felix? So, in general, with um, digitalization on the one hand side, we have the situation that completely new topics are coming up, like for example cloud computing, but also topics which are part of automation for years already are fundamentally changing. And one of these topics is the visualization. And that means completely new requirements um, that require new technology and new tools to realize uh, these requirements. And this is why we need Wins is a Unified. And there are more and more. So especially the visualization is under pressure. Um, just think about your smartphone or your tablet from at home. You want to have it easy to use. You want to have a great usability. And this is actually the benchmark we have for the industry right now. And for that, we need systems which make it easy for our customers to realize exactly that. 
Thank you, Felix. I'm going to crash into the discussion here with the customers and I'm going to ask Philip. Um, Philip, hi. I, you're quite busy here. Yeah, yeah, it's really busy. It's really crowded. Um, and it's um, already interested customers here yeah, already. Yeah, definitely. We are talking about edge computing and Windows Unified, so how it can be combined. Um, yeah. Sh shall we go to your station here? Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Okay. So what we have here um, is our edge computing portfolio, which we are now showcasing um, for the first time, really on the fair here. Um, now, what is edge computing about? I want to give you an idea. Um, it's about integrating IT functionalities into automation, really embedding it into the shop floor. And now, why are we doing that? It's all about analyzing data right where the data is occurring. So really on the shop floor, on the devices, because every of those devices in general holds a lot of um, data. Let me just go to the, to the PLC. Um, it's the, it's, let's say, the, 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 most, um, uh, the, the best device. So imagine, I mean, this one is the classical PLC. The PLC is being made for controlling the automation, for controlling the process, um, and for ensuring the machine availability. But what it's not being designed for is data analytics with IT, with SQL databases, with artificial intelligence, with everything you can imagine. And this is why we now introduce um, a module which brings edge computing down into automation and now enables data processing directly integrated into the PLC. What could be a potential application? Um, for example, you want to monitor of a machine the conveyor and you want to find out and when to do the next maintenance. Then you would get the data out of the PLC via the backplane bus, analyze it with a high-level program on the edge, and then determine when to do the next maintenance based on a torque, for example, of the drive system. Really big data analysis, um, condition monitoring, and then you get a message when to do the next maintenance um, for your drive system. My question is, can I attach each device or only small devices um, to edge or is it um, no yeah. matter what? Yeah, so good question. Um, the idea is here really that we enable our tier portfolio, really totally integrated automation with edge computing in the future. Meaning we have small entry devices like this IPC which will be edge enabled in the future to process data, but also the big ones. And, and then also, as I said, integrated into the PLC and in the future also integrated into a network infrastructure. What could be an application here? Analyzing the network traffic, for example, um, to do a network intrusion detection directly based on your network switches. So this is one application, yeah. Okay, thank you, Philip. I think we got a good idea of what's happening here and what's um, the benefits for our customers. Wishing you further good discussions and talks with our customers and interested visitors here at the fair booth. All the best. Thank you, Philip. So let's go, move on. Philip mentioned the TIA portal, and this is our next colleague here at the fair booth, really in the heart of where Simatic is being discussed. Felix is busy here, as we can see. And I'm looking for my next colleague, Stefan Kleber. Good morning, Stefan. You're prepared? Oh, of course I'm prepared. So welcome at our TIA portal booth. What's so special here? What can we see here? Um, we are presenting just right now at this tier portal booth the new release tier portal version 16. And I think you already know we're celebrating our 10 years anniversary of tier portal. So we are happy to welcome all our customers and visitors at this fair um, yeah, to just show them all the highlights of V16 and how they can improve their um, continuous development process. For all those who have no idea what TIA Portal stands for and what it is, can you briefly explain it and um, tell us the benefits of what a customer will get when he uses the TIA Portal? Of course I can. So the TIA Portal is our gateway uh, to the, for automation on the digital enterprise. And this means it's the main tool and the only tool which our customers need to configure all our hardware components like controllers, like HMI, like drives and just creating the project and um, by that uh, realizing the whole automation for their machines and plants. 
in regards of data, there is so much data now being generated. Um, is that the reason why we have a new version of the tier portal? Because it needs to kind of operate with lots of data, or why is there a new version now? Oh, we have uh, a lot new versions, uh, maybe uh, or nearly every year. So it's just um, that we have to innovate the software and bring in more and more functions which our customer needs. I think you've already been to WinCC Unified and Edge, uh, one of our two main highlights we're also presenting here. And of course, it's very important to have the automation layer more and more connected over the edge to the cloud and therefore also in the engineering system in our automation level, um, we have to improve continuously and integrate a lot of new functions um, to generate um, data and also to analyze it and to be very efficient uh, for our customers to yeah, create just new functions for their machines. It sounds interesting. For sure, you want to know how this TIA portal can help you with your business, in your production. So don't miss the chance to visit Stefan and his colleagues here at the Fairbooth. Or you watch the presentation at 10, when Stefan will be on stage talking about the imagination and inspiration which comes along with this. All right, All right super. Thanks, Stefan. Thank you. See you later. Have a nice day. Thank you. All right, now let's move to a super great exhibit here at the booth. Do you guys remember in the 80s when we all played with the Rubik's Cube? How long did it take you to solve it? Like every side of the cube had to be in one color. Now we have an exhibit here. A machine is competing against you. We're gonna go here. Excuse me. Oh, there is. See, people are playing with the cube and working with it. Can you solve it? How long does it take? Uh, normally two minutes, maybe. But the problem is that this doesn't really uh, work fast. So I have problems to remember the algorithm. So you have a super brain to solve this here. Yeah, it's not about a super brain. You have just have to learn some algorithms. Just remember them, and then you know when you have to use them. Great. Okay, so you're here at the fair booth of Siemens. Um, are you a student in electronics or? Yeah, I'm in, uh, yeah, I'm a student. You're a student? Well, that's you're cool. Class. I mean, it seems like a future talent being interested in our technologies. Uh, maybe it, I can solve it because I'm a hobby magician. Uh, that's from there, not from the technic, but yeah, electronic also some uh, really interesting. So welcome to Siemens. Maybe you should see somebody from HR and talk to those guys. I think you are one of those kids we need here in the company. Thank you. Enjoy your time at the booth, okay? Um, oh, Christian, hi. Super that you're here. Um, what do we see here, Christian? What's so special about it? And what is your function in the company? Maybe you briefly explain. Yes. So my name is Christian Seliger. I'm regional promotion manager within the DIMC, GMC. And I'm taking care here of this exhibit of the Cinemix S210 fair model. And what's new and exciting about it is we demonstrate here really the great dynamic and also the great precision of this new drive system here on the FAIR model. Because what you see here is this um, Rubik's Cube. I think most of you know the Rubik's Cube, maybe from childhood. And I think all of us were struggling to solve it and took a very long time to solve it. But this machine can do the process um, within seconds, even below a second. Yesterday we solved it um, within um, 0 0.7 um, seconds. So that's really fast. The machine has... I mean, that's less than one second. Yes. That's true. It would have the potential to break here the world record also, the machine. So it recognizes the colors with the two cameras. And then there's an algorithm to solve um, this, um, this cube then. So can we start it? Can we kind of get an imagination of what this is like? So as you see now, um, the cube is, um, uh, let's say, um, yeah, mixed. So the, cover, uh, the colors are mixed now. And now you see here the, the cameras um, yeah, recognizing the position um, of the different colors. And now the algorithm here below in the ET200SP open controller is solving this. And then the drive will um, solve the yeah, now you see it, solve it. 
I usually broke it in pieces to solve it. Yeah, I guess no one of us can solve it within this speed and in this time. This is incredible. And Christian, maybe you go down here and show our dynamics down there in the thing. Christian, what can we see there? So exactly, you see here the dynamics S210, um, six different axes of the dynamics S210, together with the um, ET200 SP open controller. And this is also special of the drive. It's a perfect team together with our thematic controllers. It's super easy to commission. We have a one button tuning. It's completely also in the TIA portal. So also customers who are not experts in uh, drive technology can really easy use and commission the drive. That's special about it. Thank you, Christian. And you know what I really like? That this shows that you guys are having fun at work and you're not just thinking in technical solutions, you're thinking of regular things in, in real life and, and develop really cool ideas and products. Yes, that's true. I think, yeah, everyone knows this cube and everyone can identify it. And we saw this also yesterday. Everyone is taking a picture, taking videos and sharing it in the social medias. Yeah. Awesome. And now you're live on Siemens TV in the YouTube channel. Christian, I'm wishing you good luck further on here with your project and interesting customers and uh, good time at the fair. All the best. Okay, now let's move on. 10 o'clock, our program on stage will be starting. We have one more position here. Services. Of course, start your digital transformation with Siemens. And we do have Jan Kamp here, one of my colleagues. Hi, good morning, Jan. Do you want to explain a bit what can we see here? What is it about and um, why are we here? Okay, of course. So um, here at the services, we um, yeah, accompany the customer through the whole um, to, through his whole digitalization journey. So on the way to his digital transformation, he is um, facing ta um, questions like, with whom do I start? When do I start? Um, what makes sense for me? And um, how to start and how to yeah how to get into my digital transformation and this is where our service experts come into play, and whenever the customer gets a service um, from Siemens, he can be sure that we accompany him through um, um, or by our end-to-end -end approach, which is consulting, implementation, and optimization. Um, so within the implementation phase, we um, accompany um, the customer by. Um, jointly sitting together with him, checking um, his, mode, his trends and drivers. Why is he actually interested in um, digitalizing his company? Um, what are the drivers? What is, does the market look li looks like? What makes sense for him? Which use cases are, are good for him? Um, and then we um, jointly develop a digitalization roadmap together with him, which is basically um, the basis for the implementation phase afterwards. And then um, within the implementation phase, we start connecting his machines. Um, we develop digital twins accordingly with the necessary hardware and software. And then in the last step in the, within the optimization phase, we do um, yeah, analyze the data we collected within the implementation phase. So the algorithms um, can learn from the historical data. And then we can um, assure and get, hand over to our customer a continuous um, digitalization approach. All right, thank you. It seems like a long process, more or less. Um, so is it like a really long-term action? Um, I mean, digitalization is something which is um, like not that easy or like not, it's a quite a complex, complex situation. So we want to make sure our customer feels comfortable with our experts, um, which is why we accompany the customer end to end with consulting, implementation and optimization. All right. Sounds great. I got to stop here because we need to start at 10 o'clock on stage. Jan, thank you so much. Really interesting. Wishing you good luck here with further discussions and talks with our interested customers. OK, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys, now let's move on. As you can see, the fair booth already is pretty crowded. We are in the nucleus of the digital enterprise for discrete industry. Automotive and battery industry is the topic here. Additive manufacturing, a big topic. Carsten Häuser already standing here, prepared for the next presentation. And now let's move on to go further on here through our fair booth. I mean, it's, it's quite tough to make your way um, through already interested customers, visitors all over the place, camera teams being here. And there is Ingo, my colleague from Future of Industry. He will be on stage later on also being interviewed on artificial intelligence. 
here is process industry. We can see that here with the big Colonna exhibit. And coming nearly now to my working place, the stage. So guys, we're gonna start with the medley, the video, and then we'll be back in two minutes on the stage with the stage program starting with Stefan Kleber on the TIA portal. See you guys. Siemens, ingenuity for life.